Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BIST Self-Learning Podcasting Solutions. Today we are going to talk about the Visual Force Architecture. That what is Visual Force Architecture? Basically the Visual Force Architecture is the MVC model. Now what is MVC? MVC stands for Model Classes, C stands for the Controller and V stands for View Pages. This MVC pattern provides a centralized management for your web application and it also gives role based development. With the help of MVC pattern you can separate the task based upon the nature of the task like if the task is related to the business logic or handling database you will write bean classes or java classes. These classes comes under model. All the representation types stuff like JSP pages, HTML pages, CSS pages, layout sheets can be used to create a beautiful page to show the application response to the customer. All these stuff comes under the view. Now we have a business logic processor and pages to show the processed result to the customer. That comes under the controller. So like I have, I have mentioned over here that model, this defines the structure of the data. View, this defines how the data is represented. Controller, this defines the business logic. So to explain this more, let me show you one image or one picture so that you can understand more. So for example, if you see over here, we have view. View basically visual force pages or the components or the standard pages. <coughs> model consists of the standard object and the custom object and controller standard controller or custom controller basically custom controllers are the apex pages apex coding so let's understand more about visual force basically in the force.com platform we can develop force.com application with custom objects and standard object every object has a standard user interface with one or more page layouts but what we cannot use standard page layouts for sophisticated requirements. So here visual force comes into play. Now if somebody asks you what is a visual force, basically visual force is a web based user interface framework which can be used for building sophisticated, attractive and dynamic custom user interfaces. Visual force allows the developer to use standard web development technologies such as jQuery, JavaScript, CSS and HTML5. And therefore, with the help of Visual Force, we can build rich user interface for any application including mobile apps. We can, we can create Visual Force pages for mobile applications also. We'll be discussing about Visual Force with the standard web development technologies and Visual Force for mobile phone depth later on means in my uh, in my corresponding videos you will be going to know more about visual force now a visual force page has two major elements called visual force markup and visual force controller so basically visual force markup it consists of visual force tags with the prefix apex and there will be html tags like JavaScript or any other standard web development code. Now what is Visual Force Controller? For example, I have mentioned over here a controller. So it, this controller consists of a set of instructions to manipulate data and schema with the user interaction. It controls the interface as well. As, now we have two types of controller in Visual Force. We have a standard controller and we have a custom controller. So a standard controller which is created along with the object can be used as a visual force controller. So a standard controller has the same logic and functionality which is used in standard pages. But if we want or if we need to use a different logic or functionality we can write our own apex controller classes and we can also write extension to standard controller a custom controller using the apex language with the in custom controller now the next example is how the visual force page 
execution flow basically this is the execution flow while saving visual force page on a server so in this preceding diagram it illustrates that that every time a developer saves a visual force page on a platform so the platform compiles the markup and related controller okay and on successful completion markup is converted into an abstract set of instructions that can be understood by the visual force render re-render okay now if there is any compilation error if there is any any error so it stops saving the pages and return the error to the developer if the saving attempt successfully finished so then the instructions are saved to the metadata repository over here and sent to the visual force re-render that is the page re-render you can see that so this re-rendered converts the instructions into the HTML which can be understood by our browser or by any browser and then refresh the pages as shown in the following diagram you can see over here okay so this is how a visual force page compiled and saved in on a web server now what if an end user or any end user is accessing that page then how it works <clears throat> so as you can see here that when a non-developer or an end user requests any visual force page so the application server retrieves the page from the metadata repository and then send to the visual force rendered for HTML conversion now because there is no compilation now there will be no compilation because the page is already compiled or the script has been already compiled okay so the page so what will happen it will just translate that page or it will the page re-render convert that page into HTML and it will transfer send back to the browser to the end user so this is the architecture or this is the framework of a visual force page how it works how it execute how it's translated and everything now let's come to the end that what are the advantages of visual force basically so the advantages of visual force are first is it's a model view controller development style it's a user-friendly development tightly integrated with salesforce extended with custom components and flexible and customizable with web technologies now what is model view controller development style because visual force follows the MVC pattern by providing the view of the application in the force.com platform I have already explained you MVC architecture earlier user friendly development it means a developer or a can have a visual force editor pane at the bottom of every visual force page this editor pane is controlled by the development mode it's a, so that's why sir okay and so that is an optional feature provided by the visual force so that's why I'm, I've mentioned over here user friendly development it's a real-time development basically third is tightly integrated with Salesforce extended with custom component what does it mean it means the visual force page can have a custom controller as well as a standard controller okay now when a standard controller is created so a standard controller will be created while creating the object and can be used for the visual force controller okay. and what we can do this we can also extend the standard components with custom components for example we can use an extension class for extending the standard controller of a particular visual force page so that's why it is I have mentioned over here that they are tightly integrated okay. and last one is flexible and customizable with web technologies it means the visual force markup is more flexible and more customizable through the use of web technologies for example JavaScript CSS jQuery flash and so on because it is eventually rendered into HTML so a designer can use visual force tags with these web technologies okay so we can use any of the web technologies I have mentioned in within visual force tags because at last it's going to be converted into simple HTML page so that's why I have mentioned over here it's a flexible and customizable with web technology 
so this is all about the visual force architecture or the framework if you have any questions you can send email to us or you can visit our website www.bspsolutions.com or you can visit our youtube channel for referring to our more youtube videos thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video have a nice day ahead good day goodbye